So good morning, here we are departing Kylakin, heading for the sky bridge which we can see in front of us and on to the Applecross Pass. It's going to be a great day today I hope. And this is the sky bridge. On a beautiful, beautiful Scottish morning. Look at the views. That's Kyla Kin over on the right, and Kyla Blockhouse. The rising sun reflecting on the lock. And ahead of us is Balaknabar. We've got the rear facing camera fitted. I fitted that on this morning. We're going to use that on Apple Cross. Beautiful view across the lock house. Check tire pressures, good. Range of 229 miles, which should be good enough for the day really, but uh, we'll pop a drop more in at Apple Cross. which as the riding goes is only an hour and a half away it's about 50 minutes to the start of the pass and then 30 to 40 minutes to cross it so Apple Cross Village itself should only be sort of an hour and 20 minutes, hour and a half away Loch Loch Karen. And welcome to the Westeros Coastal Trail. Now this is a Scottish A road. Ferry, Strathcarron 8, Strathcarron I think is where we cross the railway line. We run down the side of Loch Carron with the railway line, looking down onto it any moment. And onto a single track road. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? Concentrate on the road. Single track road with passing places, a bit like Balak. It's quite a wide single track road. You can see where they've widened the verges a little bit. Right, I see the tunnel. Quite wet through here as anticipated.
pick up the railway line again. About two miles to the level crossing at Strathcarron, I think. Strathcarron. And a little bit further up the road, we'll turn left. Cross 21, and that will include the pass. Sat nav says nine miles to the start of the Upper Cross Pass. What a lovely setting this is when the sun's out. Mm -hmm. What a gorgeous place to live on a day like today. So we're not far from the start of Apple Cross now, about a mile to go, we actually see a bit of the pass over on the left, you can see the road snaking up the mountain. Here we go, Apple Cross left. Yep, I see the famous sign up ahead. We're going to try and park in front of that for a photo. Here we are. The Apple Cross Pass. You have reached your See you on the other side. Okay, so this is the Apple Cross Pass. The one we've been waiting for. I must say I'm tinged with some nervous excitement. Vehicle coming the other way. Road's fairly wide at this point, so that's no problem. And then it starts to narrow up. Road ahead looks clear. Dodge the potholes. So this is the Apple Cross Pass proper. Now it's no different to any other single track road. Keep telling yourself. Thank you my dear, I will. Eleven miles to Apple Cross. And already we start the ascent. And given that in places uh, less than two months ago the snow drifts were six foot high along here, this is pretty amazing.
you don't always get a long view ahead so that you can see what's coming. This looks clear. Look at the view down there. And no barrier on, my, on the uh, near side. But a fantastic view. We've already gained quite a bit of altitude. Temperature's seven and a half degrees, amazingly. I wonder when we get up to the viewpoint at the top whether we'll be able to see the uh, across Loch Alsh to where we stayed last night. I need to concentrate on riding. I remember watching TMF's video and hearing him say, I don't mind if I never ride that again. seemed like a strange thing to say. I know I've got the worst bit to come, but uh, look at that view. climbing now all the time. Vehicle coming, we've got a pass in place. We'll pull in here. A van up ahead, plenty of passing places. I see the one I'm heading for. And very shortly, I think, just up around a through that crack up there is where we come to the hairpins the serious hairpins Roadworks I know they're going to be closing it uh, during the day in a couple of months time to lay some fibre optics but uh, I'm guessing this is road repairs It's a stunning view.
ओके ओके इंटरेस्टिंग Look, we're actually going downhill for a little section here before we reach the hairpins. Check tire pressures. Good. See nothing around the bend. Clear. There's the hairpins ahead. Please for a clear run. These are the serious hairpins that we're coming up to. They're tight and they're steep. And there's a series of them fairly close together. Doesn't look to be anything coming. So it's going to be first gear, drag a bit of back brake. Number one successful. Road looks clear, which is good. Now the left hander I think is a little more tricky. We certainly hope for nothing coming, it looks clear at the moment. And once again, first gear. Drag a little bit of back brake. Yep, good. This one's a little more gentle. Second gear job. And then the final one, I think, of the serious ones. First gear again. Drag a bit of back brake. And there we go. All negotiated successfully. by the fact that we had no oncoming traffic, I have to say. And then a little further up here we have the viewing point. And wow! That is absolutely stunning. Wow, will you look at that? <coughs> will you look at that? Absolutely amazing. Now then, 
I'm not sure where's where. That might be poultry, but I'm not sure. Yeah, absolutely stunning. Amazing. We've got a couple of ha little hairpins on the way down as well, but nothing as serious as that little series we had there. So we're pressing on the descent into Applecross now. And I think we've earned ourselves a coffee. Look at the view down there. It's outstanding. A little bit of snow at the side there. So as I say, this is apparently the third highest mountain pass in the UK. It's considered a challenge. It is that. The series of hairpins close to the summit are, are challenging. Morning gentlemen. I've done it boys. Well, I've done the hard, well, I, I think I've done the hard bit. down there another little bit of a hairpin here downhill second gear little bit of back brake they're certainly easier going down them than up them And they don't like it up on Mr. Manwin. of the ride around the Apple Cross Peninsula to Shield Ag is very similar roads to this. It's uh, I don't think it has the um, the hairpins. It's a little flatter and more roadworks. So where are they? Single file traffic, <laughs> that's a joke. <laughs> well perhaps it's Saturday and they're having the day off. loose gravel on the road there
snaking. Speed limit national. <laughs> oh dear. Makes it off a little bit, doesn't it? It's not like you can or want to go anything anywhere near the national limit on this road. Tin shed there, look. I wonder what that's for. Snow clearing equipment, perhaps? Well, I'm absolutely amazed at this. I was fearing it was going to be snowed up after the snow we had earlier, that it wouldn't have cleared, it was going to be snowed up and difficult to pass, but. This has just been amazing. It's been perfect. I couldn't have asked for better, and I thank you. Temperature five and a half degrees. The forecast had said it was only going to be around two degrees at the best up here today. So what are we? Only just a mile and three quarters out of Apple Cross itself now. We're going to stop and have a coffee. And then we'll continue the journey on to Ullapool. We've got a range of 211 miles according to the computer so I don't think we need to fill up with fuel at Applecross. There's another stunning view. Yes, Applecross Bay. And the road round there on the right that we can just see, maybe, I don't know whether the drift will pick it up, but that's the road we'll be taking out of Applecross riding around the peninsula. Similar road to this in many in most places but without the steepness and the hairpins. say that was absolutely stunning and I'm blessed to have been able to do it. Another one ticked off the bucket list. Absolutely awesome. Absolutely awesome. Couldn't have had better conditions. Totally, totally blessed. And here we are in Applecross. Look, and those hardy souls are going to ride it on push bikes. Good luck to them. I know one of my old friends, Ian Hoyle, is planning on riding that on his bike sometime this year. Good luck to you, Zeke.
One final hairpin. And we drop down into Applecross Village itself.